Hello there. One day late? Shut up. I don't stream on Sundays. Also, I'm not late. This is- I'm exactly on time. Wait, is it technically your birthday? It is my content creation anniversary. As on March 27th, 2013, I started making YouTube videos after getting fired from my job, which technically was yesterday, but I don't stream on Sunday. So it's been nine years since I started content creation. And I started the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel later on in the year. Since you aren't doing Twitch for primary income, I think hiding views could probably be best. If that ever changes and maybe you care a little more about Twitch as a whole, like not streaming at midnight. <laughs> you guys want me to stream during the day? Is that what you're saying? I'm pretty sure everybody likes that I stream at midnight, right? Normal rare event? You mean Megalith and Metal Foes event? <gasps> oh no, he's playing Metal Foes. Maybe that would be good. If you sing Tsunami a bit, I'll sub Mr. Logs. <sighs> but I'm not a singer. No? You guys don't want me to stream in earlier in the day? Okay. How's your night going, Mr. Streamer Man? I'm so tired. It took way longer to work on that video than I thought it would. Also, I spent like an hour making thumbnails and I only made like half of the amount I needed. Every time I'm streaming, it's after a long day of working on video stuff. However, I love my job, so it's not really that big a deal. Imagine streaming after a long day of working like a job you don't like. That would be terrible. You know, I was thinking, there's this other YouTuber who started around the same time as I did. Like, same year and same month as me. And, um, I've been following them for a long time. We've even, well, I don't want to give away who they are, but... We've been streaming for the same amount of time, and they also have some success. But, you know, not as much as what my channels have. Because they run one channel. Well, most people really run one channel. Anyways, they have success, and they were talking about their success on their stream yesterday. Not hard, like, it's not a, it's not a Yu-Gi-Oh person. And they were talking about it um, on how they feel as if they could probably be at a better place if they had just applied themselves more. Which is uh, definitely true, except they had circumstances which made that kind of difficult. And I was thinking, hmm, I too had a whole bunch of circumstances that made it difficult. And yet, I still uh, did really well for myself. Makes me think, wow. Wow. What if I didn't have so many health problems? Would I be actually bigger than I am now if I had been able to do all of this earlier? Becomes both players draw a card. This is a better effect than what I'm about to get. Nice. Raider's wing. So uh, I had a whole bunch of health problems starting in 2017. Which is why I quit doing the the replay videos. Aw, oh, freak. Yeah, that's right. I need to detach for that one, too. And if I didn't have so many health problems, I could have started growing so much earlier. And I always wonder what could have happened if I hadn't been forced to take a couple of years and just be in maintenance mode. Hmm. For each material attached to it, he doesn't have a lot attached to it. He has zero attached to it. Flicks battle damage. You can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. When this card is special summoned... Oh yeah, let's go into this one. It just pops a card in the field. Yeah, destroy. Hey, it's my nine year anniversary. This is definitely the time to talk about this stuff. Metal foes counter. You could say Draco's. If you quit, then I can be the dual logs. PewDiePie, VTuber tank. I'm not a VTuber. Oh wait, you guys didn't say that. <laughs> We'll detach Crazy Box. Thanks for the sub, can game. Hmm. I just feel as if I'm nine years in this. And I don't think I have as much. I'm not as far along as I want to be. There's so much more I could be doing. For nine years, I don't know if this is enough to show for it. But also, I know for a fact that this success is a lot more than a lot of other people who've been doing it just as long. If you get what I mean. Whew. Select a card to destroy? Bamboozling Gossip Shadow, of course. Okay. We destroy this thing. But then what would I even do different? How could I have changed my course of action? I don't know. Happy ninth anniversary. You've gotten back to Yu-Gi-Oh! twice over the years. Excellent. I'm glad you were tricked into getting back into it. For all the jokes aside, Channel really helped me get through a great good at the game and enjoy it more. Really love the content. You work at it. Why, thank you, the Dark Priest 2288. So you'd want to quit your job and do YouTube full-time? I mean, my job is YouTube full-time. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Logs. Hello there. 
New cards are incoming. Any new cards that you're interested in? Yeah, the new Jade, the the Ice Jade monster. I love it. Hmm, I wouldn't have thought Yu-Gi-Oh was a complex or as fun as it was without the top tens. <gasps> I'm glad somebody gets it. Fusion summon. Yeah, let's negate that. Thank you for blessing my night with another one of your chill streams. They're my favorite. You're welcome, Sky Cat. Could have been a VTuber before everyone else. I'm not a VTuber though. All jokes aside, I actually cured my depression with something random that you said. So? Oh no, what did I say? Was it bad? <laughs> I have someone I know who is kind of the same way. They came to one of my streams and they, they talked about their problems and I just gave some advice. And it changed their lives for the better. And I was like, I don't remember what I said. It was probably the same thing I always say. But that's cool. Wait, he could be targeted? I thought he had... No, this one can't be targeted, so we'll detach from this one. Top tens are the last thing I would I heard before I knocked out. Excellent. Probably hard to find pure EDs, but PK Rongo is the strongest in general for XCs. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Zodiac Tri Brigade. Whoa! A big bongo longo. Get good? Having a positive impact in everyone's life is cool and something to be proud of? Sure. But, like, at a certain point, you kind of get used to it, and it's just, like, normal. You know? At a certain point, you just kind of get used to everything. It's like, I've had a positive impact on your life? Neat. Although, I have heard that about a hundred other times. It's always neat to hear. But at a certain point, that's just, like, you know, normal, everyday life. I'm sure all big YouTube content creators reach the same thing, because, you know, sometimes, no matter what it is, just seeing something entertaining can just help lift your mood. Which could be all you really needed. So it doesn't have to be my videos, it could have been anyone. Banish this card from graveyard, target one dark monster, attach one phantom knights monster from your hand. <gasps> this is a phantom knights monster! Ooh. Whoa, I didn't know I'd be able to use that effect. Yeah, neato. I can give it target immunity. <laughs> I don't know, it depends on the person. Sure, sure. I can go into another crazy box. You know, that's right. But they also actually need to be entertained in the first place, and that's no guarantee. That's true. I do, like, prioritize my videos to be entertaining first and foremost. Which is not the... The intent for a lot of channels? Not, I'm not gonna say a lot of channels. For some channels, their intent is... Not entertainment first and foremost. Which is weird. Usually people just like... To, well, not, I'm not gonna say usually. Sometimes. YouTubers like to make videos just for the sake of putting something out there. They're not really trying to make it entertaining. They're just having fun making the video itself, which is different than trying to make it entertaining. If they gather any kind of success, then just making videos for themselves can also be entertaining. But sometimes people will get big doing something and then they stop doing it because it's too much work and then they shift into something else. And then they wonder why their channel suffers. Hi guys, I'm talking oh. right now. I don't have anyone in mind specifically. Like, this is just a very general thing. Like, what I'm more thinking of, have you ever seen those YouTubers who they start their video with like, Hey guys, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me make this great content that I'm about to bring to you. Anyways, let's get into the video now. Someone who starts their video with that is not thinking of entertainment first. <laughs> because that's not entertaining. That's like, you know, trying to fit pseudo-algorithm bullshit. It doesn't even work, actually. You know, they're doing that for algorithm reasons, and it's not even a, a good one. Might want to reread the last comment. Wait, what did I read? Hi, can I drop from Plat 1? Just made it? I don't think you can. Yeah, I like your approach. Where worst part is top clickbait video. Yeah, like the videos, you know, I do what works. Like, th my videos are definitely clickbaity. I'm not saying I don't do that. It's just when you watch the video, my main purpose is to entertain you. And my type of entertainment is edutainment. You know, like, entertaining educational content about very niche topics. Only a small percentage of you are subscribed. Hey, I was the first person who did that. Everybody started copying me. Or more like, I started doing it and then it became a trend and then I stopped. I call it dual taining, exactly. So it may have seemed as if I was talking oh. about a specific YouTuber, but no, I was actually just being more broad. If I think hard about it, I don't think any like the current Yugi tubers do that. Or any of the ones I watch anyway. Only a small percentage of you are subscribed to my channel. 
How dare you? I mean, it's true, but that also, like, the underlying thing that's not said when I say that is that having a, uh, a high unsubscribe to watch ratio just means a healthy growing channel. Like, it's good. You should have more viewers and subscribers. I'm not talking about YouTuber at all. YouTuber, duologues. Yeah, I'm not talking about a specific YouTuber. I'm talking about just, like, YouTubers. Like, some people do it. If you see someone who starts their video telling you to subscribe because it really helps them out, maybe um, entertainment is not their first priority when it comes to the video. If they do it at the end of the video, sure, whatever. But at the start, before you've even gotten any value from the video? That's not the way to do it. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the stream, make sure to smash that follow button, hit like and subscribe. Your Twitch, Twitch Prime exists, do it. Also, subscribe to the Dual Logs, Dual Logs, and the Dual Logs, Dual Vlogs, and also the Dual Logs, and the Hearth Logs, and the D&D Logs, and Haruma Red X. And also, make sure to like the videos, and hit that bell notification, 